Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. How's it going? I am working on filming more videos while I can. I don't know if I'm going to do one more after this. Um, today is 4th of July and I kind of just want to chill and read like I'm in the mood to like really read and um but I also am in the mood to film and edit so what I might do is I might we'll see we'll see how long this video takes me and how long it takes me to edit um I might just film and then edit tomorrow I mean I got my makeup on today I might as well just film one more and then edit tomorrow we'll see anyways you guys um I have the sweet tooth um, mystery bundle. Um, I didn't just get it. It's been here for about a week, about a week and a half. Um, so this is a mystery sampler, two, four, six, eight, ten. I have ten. No, I have 20. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yeah, I have 20, um, little samples here. I'm super excited. Um, I think... I did the, um, I, what did I get? I think I got a, I said bakery. I don't remember. I think you could like put in what you like, um, or, or what you don't like, but she knows. <laughs> she knows. Yeah, she does. Um, okay, so if you guys are, um, I know there's been a few of them already put up and out there, um, but if you want to know my opinion, keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so y'all know the dealio. First things first, what am I drinking? Well, it is now two o'clock. I'm drinking some wine. Mm, I got a white wine here. So this is called a uh, Vermentino. Um, it's mainly grown in Italy. Um, we are, the winery that I work at, the owners are, um, their heritage is Italy. And a couple times we've had some Vermentino. And so that's what this is. We don't have any right now, but it's amazing when, when we do have it. So Vermentino, think of it as kind of like a Sauve, a, a Sauve Blanc, but it doesn't have that lemongrass, but it does have, um, like on the nose, when I smell it, I feel like I'm picking up like a little citrus and... I feel like, um, uh, I want to say, so I know Sauv Blanc, like our Sauv Blanc has some grapefruit in there and I feel like I'm picking up a little grapefruit and some citrus. Um, now I, I don't know if that citrus is orange, lime, lemon, like it's, it's just, there's a citrusy vibe to it. The taste, however, is it's a dry wine, but it's a soft dry wine. And this one, um, there's a little bitter at the end, but it's good. There, it's like a, it's like a kicky kick. Um, I don't know what I'm getting on the aromas. I do feel like, um, there's a little minerality, but I don't. I just had a chip as well, so I don't know if that's it. But Vermentino is um, close to a Sauv, but not, if that makes any sense. So that's what I am drinking. What am I wearing? I am wearing, this is Salt and Sh Shea and Blue, London, this is Shea and Blue, London Perfumery, London Fragrance, whatever. Um, and it's Salt Caramel. So this is a uh, sweet caramel, um, sea salt, tonka, and sandalwood. And this is 
stunning and beautiful and I love it. You can go to luckyscent.com and get it. This bottle will uh, cost you 90 bucks. This is a hundred mil. Um, beautiful. I love it. Um, it's that the sea salt and the tonka bean and the sandalwood toned down that sweet caramel. You are still, still getting a caramel, but it's, it's almost like you're, it's almost like a, a kettle corn vibe. You, you're getting more of that saltiness with just a little hint of sweet and that's what's going on. It's a really great scent. I love it. Um, so yeah, you can find that on, um, luckyscent.com. Okay. Let's get into these samples, shall we? Um, I have them laid out. I haven't sniffed them, so let's just get to it. First one is Pike's Peak. Glad I brought my glasses. I think I'm going to need them. So Pike's Peak is citrus, eucalyptus, blue sage, tonka, and embers. So maybe a little cologne-like. Oh, I like that. I was a little nervous about the eucalyptus and the citrus. I'm not going to lie. Oh, wow. Heather, this is pretty. That is pretty. That is... It's... Um, it's masculine, but like in a really subtle, subdued way. That's, dare I say, sexy. Citrus, eucalyptus, blue sage, tonka, and embers. I really freaking like that. Um, I am going to hold on to these probably for another month or so before I melt them. Um, but I can see myself wearing, wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can see myself melting Pike's Peak all over my house. Um, I don't know. I don't think I would do one in every warmer. I would do one in every second or third warmer. Um, because I would just want this to be a really beautiful scent. That is so freaking pretty. I do pick up that blue sage. And the embers on this one, it this is really pretty. But it's really well blended. So I can pick those up, but this whole blend is just really, really, really pretty together. So we have Pike's Peak. Next one is Palo and Smoked Oud. So we have Palo Santo, Smoked Oud, and Vanilla Pod. There you go. I love Oud. That's nice. This is a really, this is, um, I could see someone wanting to put this in their bathroom. If I can get it out. There we go. I would like to smell the bottom. This is a little smoky too. Yeah. I can pick up on that smoke. And the Palo, this is, this is really pretty. The smoke, um, the Palo and that vanilla goes really well with each other. This one, like this is giving me almost campfire vibes. There's a little sweetness because sometimes um, oud has, can, can have like a, a, a smoky sweetness to it. And then you're adding vanilla. This is really nice. Once again, I'm getting like campfire vibes and I am so ready for a campfire. I am so ready for my faux fireplace to be on. Nice. I would melt this all over my house. And I would probably put this in every single warmer because that's really pretty. All right. Next one is blackberry tobacco. Stop it. 
Blackberry Sage and Sweet Tobacco. It's her house blend. Let me show ya. Go. Blackberry Tobacco. Oh. That's kind of fun together. I'm picking up that tobacco. And that blackberry is nice. It's not like a sugary icing blackberry. Um, it's, it's like, so you know how like sometimes tobacco has a cherry scent. This has, this has like a, a blackberry. So it's not like. Um, it's not like, once again, like a, like a bakery blackberry, but it is, um, a blackberry and tobacco. That's a fun take on it. That's a fun take. I would melt this everywhere. I don't think I would do every single warmer, but I would melt this everywhere. Ooh, I like that. I'm excited to melt this, you guys. I'm excited to try that one. All right. Oh, man. Looky, looky. Vanilla egg and nog. I love egg of the nog. This is amaretto, rum, vanilla, butter, sugar, cream, and spice. Fill my heart. Oh. oh man, yeah. I that amaretto is so good. I love adding amaretto to my eggnog. I'll either do like a spiced rum. Or I'll put the um, amaretto in there. Mm. Sometimes both if I'm feeling a little naughty. This is beautiful. I will say if you're worried about like the egg dog being too eggnoggy, this is not it. I'm picking up a lot of the rum and the amaretto in here. The vanilla is really good in here as well. Um, it, this is a really nice blend. Um, like the eggnog comes after. It's subtle and it comes after. It's beautiful. It's creamy. It's like a glass of eggnog and you may have put a little too much of the other stuff in there. Which, you know, may, may or may not have happened in my household a couple times. You know. Okay, next one is, ooh, chestnut birch. So I don't know why I keep taking my glasses off. Chestnut birch is chestnut, caramel, sea salt, birch bark, and leather. Mmm. I should probably scoochy scoochy so I can put the scent notes right there. Oh, that's light. Lighter than what I expected for birch and leather. Ooh, that's pretty. I can smell it, but it's light. That's pretty. This is a soft... I don't know why... It's kind of giving me, um, like Scentsy's vanilla suede vibes, sort of, kind of, not really. This smells like something I, I, not smells like something, but it's giving me vibes of something I was just melting. And that's the only thing I can think of. This is pretty. This is soft. This one I would do in every single warmer. Every single warmer throughout my whole house, bedroom, bathroom. Living room, kitchen, laundry room, everywhere. I would do this everywhere. 
Next one is whipped pistachio cream. So let's see if I can read this backwards. Pistachio, cherry, almond, uh, vanilla cream. Ooh. Come on, get out. I want to smell you. Does that sound a little creepy? Ooh, okay. This is not at all what I expected for pistachio. But I like it. So it's very much... Grab some tissue. It's very much a whipped pistachio. It's, it's whipped. Um, this is not... Like when you first smell pistachio and it has that, um, like that super strong, I don't want to say kerosene, but it has that, that strong, um, not chemical, but that strong smell. When you first open up sometimes a pistachio blend, I'm not getting any of that. This is a soft, understated, really pretty though. Um, pistachio, cherry, almond, and vanilla cream. I think that vanilla cream right now is taming everything down. Because I, I, I'm picking up the pistachio, the cherry, and the almond. Like I'm picking up that nuttiness, but I'm also, that creaminess that's in here is really pretty. This one is another one that might be super, super light for you. Um, suggestion every single warmer for sure. And if you have tea lights, I would throw this in tea lights as well. Um, I have a feeling the tea lights would really like that would, that would blossom with the tea lights. All right. Next one is Apple Jack Sazerac. Um, apple, lemon, so Sazerac is a, is a whiskey, you guys. Um, apple, lemon, whiskey, musk, and vanilla. Intrigued with the lemon or with the apple. Ooh. Could this be an apple I can do date, pray tell? Oh, this is kind of has, um, that is really interesting. You guys, I don't have a picture for you. I kind of feel like I'm getting a little masculine vibe off of this one. Um, probably because of the whiskey and the musk, maybe even the lemon. I do pick up the lemon. The apple's really slight. But this is giving me, it's not, it's not a clean, it, it's not like cleaner clean. It's not, um, cologne. It's not boozy. It's just, this is a pretty scent. This is one that would be a beautiful background noise scent. Um, because you're getting a little, the sweetness of the apple and the whiskey, um, and you're getting the brightness of the lemon, um, and like a, the clean, bright uplifting of the lemon. And then you have this musk, um, to, um, darken it just a little bit. And then you have the vanilla to add, um, a coziness. So this is one I would say companies coming over and you don't want to offend anybody. This would be really pretty. And I wouldn't be afraid to put this in every single warmer. I, I would not. All right. Next one is, ooh, peanut brittle. So peanut brittle is nuts, cream, peanut butter, brown sugar, and butter. I get really nervous with peanut butter 
only because um, sometimes peanut butter to me can smell like um, like someone is in my backyard smoking a cigarette. That's not it. That's not that kind of peanut butter that scares me. This is nice. I think because of the... Ugh, come on. There we go. Nuts, cream, peanut butter, brown sugar, and butter. I like that. I like that. And on... Uh, I like it on cold. We'll see what happens on warm. I am absolutely picking up on the brown sugar and the, um, like a nutty creaminess, which could be the peanut butter. I like this one. It's not overly sweet. Okay. Um, I, there's a lot of, there's the nuts, there's the cream and there's the peanut butter. It's not like a super sweet peanut brittle, um, cavity inducing type of, type of scent. There is that creamy nuttiness that is bringing down that, that brown sugar, um, and the butter too. Ooh. That's nice. I'm really intrigued by this one. I'm excited to to melt this and um, see what happens on warm. Oh, that is so good. Okay, this is ooh, French Bourbon Reserve. So this is Jasmine Sambac, Bergamot, Vanilla Bourbon, and Leather. I have a feeling this might be a little masculine because of the the bergamot and the leather. Ooh. He's a sexy little dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you have me at Jasmine. The bergamot is going to add, um, add a brightness to it. Vanilla bourbon and leather is, is a touch of masculinity. Just a touch. This isn't a cologne, so don't worry about that. It's not a cologne vibe. Um, almost like... Almost like a distant relative to Angel Share. And it's it's the vanilla bourbon for sure. But because of that jasmine that's in here and the bergamot, um, that's why I say like a distant relative to the Angel Share. This is really pretty. This is a really nice one. Um, I can see myself wanting to melt this everywhere. But I can also see like this being a bedroom scent um, for special nights. Next one is cardamom gingerbread. So cardamom, sugar, gingerbread, vanilla, and chai. Ooh, I am hoping this is going to be a nice spicy one. Sorry about my nails, you guys. I have to get my nails done and... Ugh. I just have not made my appointment yet because I don't want to. Ooh, that's nice. Not as spicy as I was thinking it was going to be with the gingerbread and the chai. Oh, I lied. There's some, there, there it is. Oh, that's so pretty. This is. So this is. Okay. It's not overly sugary. So if you were worried about the gingerbread, like this whole thing being like super, 
um, overly sweet, overly gingerbread bakery. Don't. It's not. This is, um, there's a slight sweetness to it, but because of the cardamom, the chai, um, and the gingerbread, it, it's just a, you can tell that's what it is. There's that that warm spice cardamom there it, it's warm there's the vanilla in here and slight sugar like it this is not overly sweet but this is very cozy i like this one tremendously and i like that one I was just trying to think what I'm, I, I'm going to wait for these to cure just a little bit longer. Um, and then decide, like take some upstairs, um, cut them in half, cut them in thirds, whatever. Um, elderberry donut. So I'm not a huge fan of elderberry. I like huckleberry. Um, but elderberry from Scentsy I've smelt and I'm not a huge fan of, and it really depends on what, what it's blended with and how it's blended. So this is elderberry, raspberry, orange zest, butter, and bakery. I know Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris. I think she tried this one and she loved it. So I'm intrigued. Oh. Huh. Oh, that's nice. I like it. So I'm not picking up like, it, I'm not saying, I'm not picking up crazy donut, but there's that bakery element in here. There's that sweetness. I'm glad she put in the raspberry because that's helping with the elderberry. I feel like elderberry can be kind of tart and not, uh, not in a good way kind of tart, at least for me personally. Yeah, there's the sweetness, there's the bakery, um, orange zest. I'm not picking up orange zest, but that's not to say it won't come out on warm. Interesting. I can see why, why Chris would like this. I can see why she would like it. Um, so I'm, I might like it too. Hmm. Um, pistachio gelato though. So pistachio, hazelnut, rum, whipped cream, and cotton candy. I have a feeling with that cotton candy, it's going to be a little sweeter. Oh. Rum, hazelnut, pistachio. What am I smelling? You guys, I feel like I'm picking up like a lemon or a citrus. Let me neutralize my nose here. I want to say I'm picking up a lemon and I know that's not what I'm supposed to be picking up. Pistachio, whipped cream, rum, cotton candy. This is not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to have to warm this because I cannot, I cannot even place what I'm smelling. Because what's on the label is not what I'm smelling and it's messing with my head. I, there is a creaminess to it. It's light. I'm going to have to hold on to this and melt it. This is what I'm going to melt um, in my bedroom for sure, right next to my bed. So I can really gauge it really like sit there and mull it over and take notes. It's number one, it's light. 
Um, number two, what's on the notes? I'm not picking up at all. And it could just be my notes. I haven't watched anyone's um, reviews yet of of the um, the samplers. So I don't know, I don't know if anyone else got it and what, what they thought of it, but I am, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, cherry Noir. So sour cherry, saffron, osmanthus, apricot, and smoke. That's pretty. I do like this cherry. I can pick up the cherry. Saffron, osmanthus, apricot. That's nice. So the saffron and the osmanthus is giving this like a perfumey type vibe. Um, it's kind of reminding me of a couple perfumes that I have that have cherry in it. It's not giving me lost cherry vibes. This is pretty though. This is pretty. It's a dark, it's a dark cherry. So this is not going to be a bright, I mean, even though it says, um, it's a sour cherry. Um, even though you have the apricot in here, Excuse me, I think the apricot's just going to give it a little more sweetness. Um, but you have a sour cherry, the saffron, the osmanthus, and then the smoke. So this is definitely a darker cherry. Um, but it's not lost cherry. I know that um, Tom Ford came out with other cherry notes and um, or other cherry perfumes. And I'm wondering if that is, um, this is similar to one of those because it's giving me perfume vibes and I like it. This one, um, I would melt everywhere in my freaking house. I like that one. It's pretty, um, it's not too sweet. It's not too dark. It's just a really pretty, um, a pretty perfumey scent without being overly perfumey. If that makes any sense. Um, all right. So this is 540. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one. Jasmine, saffron, fir, cedar, amberwood, and ambergine. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. Good job. I like that one. Ooh, pretty. Yep, that's a that's a really nice. That's a really nice version of Baccarat 540. I like that one. One I would also melt throughout my house, my whole house, upstairs, downstairs, every single warmer. I would put this in every single warmer. Um, I know that people are saying that they're tired, at least in the perfume world. Everywhere you go, you smell Baccarat Rouge 540. And yeah, you do everywhere you go. I know the wedding that I worked at, um, the food truck that I worked at, like I just, when I work at the winery, like there's at least one person wearing a Baccarat Rouge 540, at least one every, every time I work. So, um, it's for sure out there. Um, I enjoy wearing mine as well. And, uh, I don't mind. I like it. So next one is LBD's The Little Black Dress. This is Nectarine, Black Peony, and Patchouli. There we go. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. I literally just got like a flash when I was a little kid. My mom would get ready to go out to dinner with my dad. Mm -hmm. This is very mom's perfume. Oh, I like that. It's, it's very, it's very pretty. It's, it's a, 
of it's feminine but it's not sweet um it, it's very much a feminine mom perfume um I mean I don't mean that in a bad way or in like any kind of way other than like for me because it reminds me of my mom um when you know when they when I was little and they would be getting ready to go out to dinner that's the vibe I'm getting. It's so pretty. This is really pretty. I don't know if I would put this in every single warmer because it is a little, it's a little darker. And this one I think has its own time and place for it. Um, when company's coming over, I don't think so. I think this would be really pretty in a bedroom, um, bathroom, Yeah, that's where I would put it. I would put it in my bedroom. I don't necessarily think I would put this throughout my whole house. Um, only because, like I said, for me, it just, it, it reminds me of my mom getting ready in the bedroom. So, all right, we are down to five more, you guys. This is whiskey and oak. So whiskey, oak, and vanilla sherry. Yum, yum, yummers. Ooh, that whiskey is nice on here. That is boozy. Wow, that is nice and boozy. I'm picking up, yeah. Oh, that's nice. This is strong. Do not put this in every single warmer. Maybe not even every second warmer. This is... Mm, this is like every third or fourth warmer. And even then, uh, this is really, really strong, at least for me. So remember, I have like 18, 19 warmers out in my open concept. So when I say every third or fourth warmer, that's still a lot of warmers. Um, so just, you know, you do you. But I have a feel like on, on warm, this is going to be so strong and you just, you don't want this, you don't want this to answer the door for you. Um, you want this to sit and just kind of, you, you want it to be there, but quiet, not necessarily background noise, but, um, Ooh, that is good. That, that is good and strong. I, yeah, I enjoy this. I would melt this everywhere, just not in every single warmer. All right. Sex by the fireplace. Oh, love it. Chestnut, woody accords, vanilla, red berries, and neroli. Noise. Woody Accords, Vanilla, Red Raspberries, Chestnut. This is nice. This is giving me by the fireside, by the fireplace. This is giving me by the fireplace vibes. And I'm really okay with it because I love that scent. Yeah. Really nice. A really good dupe of that. A really good um, version of that. Her her version of it. I really like it. This one I would put in every single warmer just because I love it. Now if I wanted to melt this when people are coming over, I would probably do every second or third warmer. Um, but for me in my own house, I'm okay if it wants to hang out with me and we can sit and chat. Love it. All right, Santal Royale. This is violet, cardamom, iris, cedar, leather, and sandalwood. Sounds like another perfume vibe. Oh. Okay. I will have to say 
that this one is not one of my favorites. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's the, the violet or the iris in here. Because I am picking up floral. And like I, for me, the florals I really like are, um, are like the jasmine floral, like jasmine, um, gardenia, in doses, ylang ylang, in doses. Um, but sometimes iris. Yeah, I mean, it's this one I'm absolutely going to melt. I might actually melt it down here and because I have a warmer here and I might like cut it in half and put one here and put one in the back over here just so I can smell it because on warm, I'm wondering if this, um, the leather, I mean, cause you had me at cart, cardamom, cedar, leather, and sandalwood. Love it. Violet and iris. Um, sometimes. So it really depends on, on, on the blend. And right now on cold, like all of these, it's not bad, but not my favorite on cold. I do pick up that leather though. That leather is so pretty. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's masculine, but it's not masculine. So I, I think this is a dupe for something. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I have wax all over me, you guys. Okay, two more. We have fresh baguette. So baked bread, toasted crust, and sea salt. Love a bread note, you guys. Oh, that's good. That's bread. Yep. It's bread. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, I would put this everywhere in my house. This is fresh baked bread. It's, it's like when you've cut into, when you, when you get like the French bread at the grocery store and it's still warm and you get home and you cut into it and it just, that's, that's what I'm getting. It's fresh baked bread everywhere. Maybe not my bedroom. Well, maybe my bedroom. Why not? Why not? Yeah. That's a cozy, comforting scent. I mean, I might wake up craving, craving bread, but I don't care. All right, you guys, last but not least, this is sweet strawberries. So strawberry, lemon, vanilla, and sugar. We'll see about this one, because y'all know how I am about just fruits on its own. Woo! That is very strawberry. I like it. And I know if Michaela smells this, she's going to take it. This is giving me like... This is giving me strawberry sorbet vibes. Absolutely picking up on that lemon too. Like picture, you know how like Disney has the, um, the doll whip picture that consistency, but with like a strawberry and lemon like interspersed like twirling around each other um, and then you have put like like a really nice vanilla cream on top of that that's the vibe I'm getting I like it it's pretty um, this is a little I I like the smell of it but I also know that I would have to blend it with something 
and I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to give this to Michaela and let her melt it in her room. And that way I can go in the room and smell it, but then I can leave the room and not be um, dedicated to it. I mean, if you handed me one of these to eat, I would absolutely be eating the bad boy. That's really pretty. That's exactly what's coming into my head is just a strawberry lemon sorbet swirl in a cup with some vanilla cream on top. Very nice. I like it. Okay, you guys, that is it. That is all I have. Um, it's already three o'clock. I think I'm just not going to video the rest of the day. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to relax. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Have my wine and enjoy a little bit of silence before the chaos happens with the fireworks and, and this guy right here. He's not going to be happy when the fireworks start. He's going to be very much a chicken little. And um, I got to give him his medication and hope that I time it right before everything starts. And um, <laughs> so I got to I got to pick up my daughter and uh, at six. Well, the store closes at six. Hopefully she gets out soon after six. Um, and that way we can be home and I don't have to try and carry his big old butt up the stairs or, um, help him up the stairs. If that medicine kicks in, we have hardwood stairs <laughs> and when he's a little woozy, him getting up the stairs or even down the stairs is dangerous for everybody. And I don't even want to deal with that. So I have to figure out how to time it. The problem is, is if once again, if, if the fireworks start before his medicine has really kicked in, um, then no matter how drugged up he is, he will not chill out. Um, and that's stressful for me. So we'll see what happens. All right, you guys, I hope everyone has a great 4th of July. This isn't going up until the day after 4th of July or maybe even on Friday. No, on Saturday, it'll probably go up. Today is Thursday. Um, so I hope everyone had a great 4th of July and was safe. And I hope everyone's having a great week. And I will talk to you later. Bye.